Hi folks, it's Switchback. Mountain Goat and I are boondocking out near Saguaro National Park in Arizona. And I wanted to kind of show you some of our boondocking camp setup, the gear that we use, and just kind of show you what we're doing. This is kind of a casual video. This is less of the sitting down and talking to you and more of the, let me show you around this way. Links to all of the gear that's discussed in this video down in the description below. You may see some mountain goat doing her thing in the background. We'll see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's gonna go put the supplies to good use. This is our first trip with this new tent. There were some hiccups on the way of setting it up, but we're learning and now we know for the next time. But come on inside. I'm gonna be bad and wear my shoes with you go this way all right so you don't need to see what's all over here this is our mess but this is the bed right here so we both have our UGQ quilts and we have like an old Coleman sleeping bag on top of our air pad here this is an old synthetic sleeping bag that I bought years and years ago on Amazon and this is my get out gear blanket that I use a ton. The star of the show, which was sent to me for free and I am being paid for it, but my opinion is my own, is the air mattress here. This is the Mr. Young air mattress and it is nice and tall, as you can see. It is self-inflating. It has its own plug right in here, right there. It also works great at home or if you're traveling and you don't want to use a hide a bed, you know, a sofa bed, couch thing, those things are so uncomfortable. This thing is great. And you don't have to worry about trying to remember to bring your pump. It's all included. I chose the queen size because that way my spouse and I could share it. And it has a 600 pound limit, which is great when you're not a small person like I'm not. And this will work really well if we have guests over. It purports to inflate in three minutes and that has been consistent with my experience. It will fit in the bag better if you deflate it electronically versus if you try to do it manually. But you have the option of inflating and deflating manually. It's 80 inches long, which is nice if you're not short. And it is about 20 inches off the ground, which is great, which means we don't have to get up off the ground, which can be something that people don't like to do and then go camping. Of note, it does weigh about 20 pounds. So consider that if you can't tote around something that's that heavy. So far it has held up really well. We top it off at night because that's just how it goes with air mattresses, but it's held air really well. And I'm very particular about that. I'm a stomach sleeper. I get very uncomfortable very easily. Whenever I go camping, I go through a copious amount of dude wipes. These are lifesavers, not only for their intended purpose, but for a bath when you don't shower for four days. So that is where I'm at right now. Luckily you can't smell me. I'm also using my Crocs. You can see that they have gotten use here when I go in and out because that is the ground and I don't really care to do it with flip-flops. Out we go and you can see I am wearing my belief pants here that I talked to you guys about before. And I'm also wearing my gaiters to keep all the other nonsense off my feet, my socks, my shoes. And then let's see, let's go over by the fire unless Mountain Goat is still occupied. So we also have, sometimes we'll shower when we're out camping and we have a portable tent for that and a portable shower. And we now have a portable toilet, which has come in very handy. And uh, Mountain Goat, we did not set up the tent this time for it, but Mountain Goat is making use of said toilet. So, <laughs> so that is very, very handy. I also love this table that we bought years ago. We did have to replace it once. But it, I mean, we get so much use out of this thing. You can see our lovely campsite here. And the only things we've really heard are the coyotes and the birds. And we love it. So then, let's see, we have a pop-up tent here for shade. And I love this tent. 
we take this when we go to the beach, to the river, to the lake, to wherever. It's always nice to have shade somewhere. This one does stake into the ground. So we have it staked out right now. Next subject is the camp kitchen here. So you can see my cane there, don't mind that. But I have this lovely setup that actually normally has a little thing over here and it has some shelves and it has a little roll top. All right. I also love this. There's more storage down in here. This will roll up. I don't like to keep it rolled up because I don't like dirt getting in here, but there's that. And I love using that, but I was a little worried about animals finding their way in there and hiding out. So I asked Mountain Goat not to set that part up this time. And then we have our pots and pans here. Uh, both of our parents had this set from when we were kids. And then I got these pans here. We have this dish basin, which is so, so, so handy to have. You can walk around with your poo. <laughs> And this is why we bring wag bags. <laughs> there you gotta go, you gotta go. That's right. <laughs> then we have our stove here, which is very handy to have. Two burners, just the basic Coleman. But God knows you gotta cook. You gotta heat up water for that all important coffee. So speaking of coffee, I love my Stanley French press. And it does, it's heated and it, or it's, it's insulated, not heated, but it does a really good job of keeping my coffee nice and hot. And then when I'm ready to take it on the go, I use my Hydro Flask, which is actually still mostly full from today. Yeah, the coffee's the best. And then we use this five gallon GSI water jug which is very handy for things like washing your hands. After you go poo. Yes. <laughs> or just in general. Or just in general. Like to talk about. <laughs> Who are you hiding from? <laughs> Whispering around. <laughs> we talk about poop on my channel. That's just how it goes. Oh, all right, yeah, let's talk about it. <laughs> One thing that we like to use this little pocket in our vehicle for is some fat wood. So we have a little stash of all kinds of little fire supplies, but the fat wood and then these locks that we use to keep our ice chests bear proof. So for the bathroom situation, we also have, we haven't used yet, you can see it's new, but I bought some bags and some porta potty chemicals. And then we have our ice chests that we love, the Yetis, um, which have been <laughs> incredibly durable. We've unfortunately tested them with the bears. Two things we plan to add to our kit are a large water jug, like a stiff-sided one, and a table that we can sit at with our camp chairs to eat meals and that we can set said jug onto. The soft-sided one is really nice because it collapses down. It's easier to tote like into a hotel room when we fill it up but it also is more likely to fall off of the table. One of the bigger hard-sided ones is not as likely to fall. So we may actually use this one to fill the larger one. And then down in here, we keep the jump starter. And if you check out this video, you can see all the prep that we do for any time that we're going to be camping out in the middle of nowhere like this. Hope you got some value. Be sure to check out that video and I so appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Bye.